press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Motorbeam. KTM entered the Indian market in 2012 with the launch of the Duke 200 and in 2017 KTM was expected to update the Duke 200 but they surprised us with the launch of this motorcycle the Duke 250. We are riding it today to see if it's a big step up from the Duke 200. In terms of design, the Duke 250 looks bigger than the Duke 200. And just look at this motorcycle, it's very aggressive. It takes inspiration from the 1290 Super Duke R, the orange subframe, the aggressive headlight with LED DRLs, and of course, this tail section really screams aggression. Now, KTM has given this a metal tank. It's a bigger unit, which also means that the touring range on this motorcycle is going to be much better than before. The certain things which have been carried over from the Duke 200 like the instrument cluster of this one is loaded with a lot of information. But yes, we would have liked the unit which is on the new KTM Duke 390. KTM has repositioned the ignition key which is now closer to the rider. It is just ahead of the tank. Earlier it was near the instrument cluster. One of the complaints of KTM motorcycles was the seat and it was very hard. Now this motorcycle gets an all new seat. It's much more comfortable and also accommodating. Even for tall riders, there's good amount of space near the tank which makes it easier to lock your knees. KTM has also given it a much more usable pillion seat. So yes, a pillion is comfortable on this motorcycle. And what's the best part about this motorcycle for people like me, which is tall riders, is that the seat height has increased. Now coming to the heart of the matter, this motorcycle gets a new 250cc engine. It produces 30 PS of power and 24 Newton meters of torque, which is a significant improvement over the Duke 200. And when you ride this motorcycle, that's something which is instantly noticeable. In terms of low-end performance, it's not very punchy or frantic like its cousin, the Duke 200. It has a very strong mid-range and red line comes in abruptly. This motorcycle is BS4 compliant. It is smooth but it does have the typical KTM roughness. It has vibration near the top end and could have been a bit more refined. The Duke 250 gets a side-mounted exhaust. It sounds much better than the Duke 200 and also quite eager near the red line. This is how it sounds. gearbox on the Duke 250 offers smooth shifts. It also gets a slipper clutch. The suspension system it does a good job on our roads. It is on the stiffer side, but in terms of handling, this motorcycle is a whole lot of fun. It gives terrific feedback. 
The only disappointment is if you want to lean in really hard, these MRF tires don't offer the same levels of grip which the Medzellas do. The brakes on the Duke 250 offer very good stopping power. The initial bite is sharp, but ABS isn't offered, not even as an option, which is very, very, very disappointing. In the motorcycle world, we love surprises and KTM has just given us that with the Duke 250. Now, this motorcycle offers everything what the Duke 200 did, but a whole lot more. Faster, it's more punchy, it looks better, and the best of all is that it costs just rupees 30,000 more than the Duke 200, making it one of the best bikes for rupees 2 lakh. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm sure you liked it, so please do hit the thumbs up button below and also make sure you subscribe to Motorbeam.